Hello there, everyone. Welcome. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Jennifer from Sun Dragon Cards, and um, we are working on part number five, I believe, for a garden journal. Um, Donna, Twisted Paper Studios, Digitals. Um, where we left off is, I'm sorry, it's been so long. Um, I've been down sick and um, so it's been a challenge to get started again. Looks like I've got, let's see, I've made some tags here, working on making some more ephirma. Uh, did this little pocket. It's a cute little pocket. Um, here's another pocket. These uh, pockets, um, these are this, the digitals are um, in Donna's shop. I don't know what digitals they are, what the name of the kit is, but the actual pockets uh, was inspired by Ruby and Pearl. Um, she's got a video out making these type of pockets with her own digital kits. Um, she's got these um, vintage envelopes as well. Um, let's see. So that's some ephirma that I am working on. Looks like this is the first signature. Uh, and then here's the second signature. Okay, no decorating on the second signature. So what I think I'm going to do is I want to really enforce some of these pages or reinforce some of these pages with um, <clears throat> oh, maybe some faux washi or washi tape. And... Let me see here. Got lots of faux washi. I've made. I just need to find something that will match that I'll be happy with. And which is hard when you've got way too much stuff already. Sometimes too many choices can be a bad thing. So how's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone is being healthy and staying safe out there. Um, COVID is going around again here in our area. And um, so, yeah, just be very careful. It's been very smoky as well. So that doesn't help with uh, any of us that have breathing problems and allergies. So that doesn't help. Uh, let's see. That might. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm just going to go with washi tape, regular washi tape. Let's see. I wanted to reinforce these um, pages because a lot of these are vintage and I want to reinforce them before I actually sew them in because um, I don't want them to tear. They're quite fragile. So let me see, what do we have? Let's go into these bins. I was um, watching oh, uh, Pam from the Paper Outpost the other day, and she was going through all her different washies and organizing them. And I felt like, oh my gosh, she has got quite, 
quite the collection. And I thought I had a collection. This might be pretty because it's kind of garden. It's got the rose and it kind of goes. Let's see. Yeah, I think this will be good. Let's do another one. Um, maybe. But yeah, I wish I had the type of space where I can um, have a long drawer like she has, um, or she can um, individually just lay things out in a drawer. Uh, I don't have that much space. Let's see, I'm going this one. Here's some of that German tape, that German measuring tape. I love this stuff. Uh, I want to get some more. <clears throat> I think I got this on Etsy. I'm pretty sure I got this from Etsy. Um, the person that I got it from uh, no longer has her shop. It just seems like, seems like, you know, the places that I tend to find things, they are no longer. This is kind of a garden theme, but I don't think it'll be. I don't think it'll be a good. Well, it looks it's looking like it's looking like that will be it. This is really pretty, isn't it? I haven't used it yet. I'm not exactly sure. Is it stickers? Not exactly sure what it is. I'm sure I will figure it out. Okay. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Let's reinforce. See, this is already, I feel like this is just, this is some vintage paper too. It's, um, let's see, it comes from this book. And it is um, rice paper, I think. It's really beautiful and the writing is just gorgeous, but that's where this paper came from, and I want to make sure that it doesn't fall apart. And I feel like if I stick a hole in there, it's not going to be reinforced. One thing I did see that, um, oh, Sam Pool, I saw her, she reinforced her pages with a pattern paper. I thought that's a great idea. However, I mean, that's that's a perfect theme for her uh, sh haberdashery theme that she had going on. Um, this is more of a garden theme. Which really, you know what, that doesn't really matter, to be honest. Some people like to have a matching theme. That's pretty, isn't it, with that paper? Let me go ahead and do this. Um, some people like to have that all the same theme and some people like like it eclectic i um go through spurts of and phases so it just it all depends on what strikes my fancy at that time <clears throat> Should 
Should I do it on this end too? I think one side is good. Yeah, one side should be good enough. Is this a pocket? No. Should, oh yeah, it is. Okay. That should be okay. This should be okay. It's okay. This. gonna put it on this side just to be different just to give it some variety so besides junk journaling I know that I had Karin who is also a good friend of Leslie um, Leslie from Willow House Journals. Um, Karen does beautiful, um, she's a seamstress. She's, I haven't seen her, any of her work, but I'm sure she does beautiful work. She also instructs. So um, I think I was asking in one of my videos what, what other crafts do people do other than just junk journal? And she um, reached out to me uh, during uh, in, on Instagram and um, <clears throat> told me that she likes, um, she's a seamstress, makes beautiful clothing, which, I mean, that takes a lot of talent, skill. And um, I think she had told me that before, too, that that's what she does. Did I put, I don't think I glued that other piece. I don't think I reinforced it with, I'm pretty sure I did not. I might have to go back and redo that. want to make sure I don't lose the placement. Okay. Okay, this is the piece that I didn't reinforce with glue. Although this this washi tape is pretty Uh, oh, I'll reinforce it on the t end here. This washi tape seems to be sticking really well, but yeah, we'll just do just a little bit on this side here. Just some of these things that um, that people have come up with and, and invented, like washi tape, for instance. Don't you wish you would have thought of that? My goodness, how rich I would be if I thought of that. It's such a simple thing. Okay, that does not look right. So this, okay, that's a pocket too. This is a pocket. I know this was on top. For some reason that doesn't seem right. And then this goes like this, right? Oh my goodness, I can't remember. Okay, well, at least this, this part looks good. Okay, that, 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 that. 
Matt. Matt. It's a pocket here. Okay, and that's a collage. Pockets. Okay. All right. So that one's done. So, um, I was thinking about these inventions on these, like washi tape. Um, what else? I mean, people are writing books. Is it Natasha from Treasure House Books? She's got a new book out. And, but she is, you know, I can totally see her making, writing a book because she's so organized. And I bet that book, I put that book, um, I went on to Amazon to, um, and I put it in my cart to grab it when I when I um, am ready to buy it to purchase it. Um, but Natasha from Treasure Books is it Treasure Books? Um, she's yeah, she's got a book out and she does. She has these amazing ideas and step-by-step -step process. And so um, it was just a matter of time before she came up with a book on her own. So, which leads me to how can you get to that point and when do you get to that point to where you know you're, you've got the following and the confidence enough to um, come up with something on your own. that I ever think that this that would ever happen for me because well one I think you would definitely need to have a real interest in something like that to do um, I have some interest because simply because I think it's fun but I don't want it to get to the point to where it's such a business that it's no longer fun. If that makes any sense. I want this still to be a hobby, a fun hobby and still make a little pocket money to support my hobby, but not to the point to where it, I have to have it to support, to make it my livelihood. That to me would take the joy out of junk journaling. But it would be nice also to be independently wealthy to the point to where you can junk journal all the time without a care in the world. I mean, without having to worry about having to work the next day. That too would be fun. It would be a great thing. But what else is out there to invent and create and make tons of money on, like washi tape? Who invented washi tape? such an easy thing. You know what would be fun is maybe um, how about a glue or a craft wipe other than baby wipes. Um, something. 
something that we use all the time. Uh, let's see. Okay, so that's done there. And that. And this. this and that okay I think I am ready to go ahead and sew now you're going to see my process of how I attach why does this feel like this has more page oh this is decorated that's why so I decided a while ago that I wasn't going to do full decorating on the second signature simply because I want to leave it to the recipient to be able to decorate their own pages. Um, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight pages. Do I have eight here? One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. All right. Here we go. So, I, how I do my signature is I totally eyeball it. And I eyeball my first signature I'm going to mark my middle and then move out maybe about two inches that way move out about two inches that way so that looks fairly close. It's not a hundred percent. This is the tricky part. I have to make sure everything is even here. And then let's clip. Let's clip the top. And then I'm gonna clip What some people would do is they would take an awl and then just make holes. There's one awl. I have a lot of, I've got about several of these, um, but you know, they just go in and they poke holes. Um, let's see, what am I gonna use? to bind. I think I'm going to use some wax string and my wax string is up here. Okay, so wax string is in this. Anybody who does Ipsy can recognize this bag. Um, black, I'm going to cover the back anyway, so, but what do I want the inside? I guess I'm going to do the cream. Okay. So with this, I use the small hole. And I take the whole, oh, look at that, see? It 
it ripped. Okay. Hang on. How did I miss that one? So I'm glad that I'm glad this happened now. I'm not in the middle of everything. Really, really glad that happened now. Not after um, binding the book, at least this happened before binding the book. And in that way, I can fix it. I'm glad I noticed it too. Because sometimes you will not notice those things. Boy, that was really, that was not, a, that was not cool. But, I'm glad we caught it, able to fix it. I just might have to, I might reinforce the inside too. Just in case. You know who I haven't seen lately on YouTube is Joey DeFee. I wonder how she's doing. Hopefully she's doing okay. She was one of my favorites. She still is one of my favorites. Just haven't seen her on lately. And yeah, hope she's doing all right. She was quite an inspiration to everyone, and still is an inspiration. Okay, so now I have to put the my measurements. My holes, my pen marks back in. Got to make sure I got this in the right way. Okay. Make sure that none of these are upside down or anything. Okay. And eyeball. Be able to see that. Uh, use a let's use a sharpie. So on the middle, middle, it's right about here, and about two inches out, right here, two inches out, right there. I'm just going to do one side. Okay. All right. It's now or never. It's now or never. All right. Let's see here. Can I see? One thing is, is that you do have to get on the 
the side of it at an angle to see, make sure. Okay, so this is going all the way through the book cover and the signature. And I'm hoping that the book cover is aligned properly. It looks like it. All right, that's one. Let's go ahead and sew that in. One, two, three, and a little extra uh, scissors, 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 scissors. Where's my scissors? Oh, I put them away where they should be. Okay. So start, I start in the middle on the inside if I want the string to be showing on the inside. And let's see, there we go, here, and then down here. Hopefully I'm not off camera. Sorry if I am. And then through the middle. There we go. So that is on. So you want you want um, each end to be on the either side. I think most of you know how to bind already, so. But for those of you that don't, we do each side of the middle of the string and then tie the knot. And look at how much extra, see? When they tell you three, I think it's a little bit too much, but I'm gonna leave some. They tell you um, to measure three times the length of your journal. Well, a lot of times it's too much for me. that, that, just checking, checking, making sure everything is secure, not torn, in place, okay, I think it looks good. Awesome. And it, it uh, I guess it, yeah, I guess it's pretty straight. Okay, now for this one. Let's make sure. Didn't I put, oh, I did, okay. I only did one side on this one, okay, of the washi tape. I was, getting confused. All right, so with a lot of journals, some people don't like to have a gap in the middle. So they'll put three. Um, I like using two signatures because what I like to do is I like to put in a floating pocket in the middle and I put little goodies and stuff in there 
for the recipient. And that's just a person, person, personal preference. Uh, okay. So let's, now the second one, I want to gauge it. Where's that? I want it to be even with how I did the first signature. So I'm going to just reach there. sure I've got that over that. I don't want anything to move. Get a bigger clip. So the problem that I have right now is trying to make sure everything, all the papers are going to be in there and even and straight. And we wanna line it up to the already made holes of the first signature. So here goes nothing. scoot myself down so I can see the side. There's that. that. Pretty close. Uh, not really. Not this one anyway. Okay, well the damage is done already. So, but that's why we cover up the binding. And it's not going to hurt the signature any. Instead of doing it two, I mean three, see, one, two, three, I think I'll do a little less than three. If you saw my big head in the way there. there. And I'm not sure if this is if this is more confusing or if there's an easier way, but So far, this has been the way that I've been doing. This has been my process. 
Um, some people like to make a template of the holes and measure that way. Oh, I forgot to check and see, make sure that I got this the right way. It's not tied too tight because you don't want to rip the pages. And then you tie again going the other way to make your square knot. There, and that's a little bit better. That's not so much extra. Because I feel like that's been wasted. All right, let's see. So, well, this page, this it looks like it looks like this is up higher but it really isn't. It's just that my pages are staggered and this one is a bigger page. See how much staggered it is. It's up a little bit more, which then gives you this effect here like that, the more tiered, layered type of a look. But anyway, that is the two signatures that are in here. Mm. Huh. I just want to make sure everything is sturdy. This looks very, very fragile here. So I am going to enforce it with wherever the washi tape went to. It escaped somewhere. Hmm. I wonder if I put it away where it's supposed to go. Hmm. Well, it might have been put away, but in the meantime, I think I am going to go ahead and just repair some of these old pages by collaging some of these rip pages and then start with um, adding the lace. <gasps> what happened here? Look! Oh my goodness. How did that happen? Did I put, I put one, how in the world? I have never done that before. How did that happen? I don't even know. It looks like I went through the wrong hole. On, I did go through the wrong hole. Oh my goodness. How funny. I've never done that before. Look, totally missed the hole. Okay. All right. Time for a repair. At least the hard part's done, and that is the holes. But I have never done that before. That is so strange. I have never done that. That is just, I'm floored. I am floored. I have never done that before. Now, 
Just gotta make sure I didn't cut the string for the other signature. No, Whew. okay, that one's still intact. Okay, so it's just this, oh my gosh, what a dingbat. Okay, let's do that again. Yeah, I stuck it in that hole and not that hole. What a doofus. My gosh, okay. I'm gonna try this one more time. And then once I have it down right, uh, what time have I got? Oh yeah, it is about time here. So I'm gonna just tie this on right and then and then I'll wrap this up. So, sorry about that, guys. But you know, mistakes do happen, right? And thank goodness, thank goodness there we are. We make mistakes. Otherwise, we would never learn. And who wants to be perfect? I mean, I do. I'd love to be perfect, but you know, I'll be the first to tell you that I'm not. This is why we hold our papers together with a clip, because everything falls apart. So this is what not to do. See, this one is tearing. There, 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 there. Okay. This one doesn't have one. And then it goes in that hole. That is a first for me. I've never done that. Let me know if you guys have done that. But I never had. And that. I'm glad I noticed it. Okay. All right, we are done with the binding after that fiasco. Much better, much, much better. And I'll see this, the binding going across I'm sure there's a binding that does go across, but not unintentionally like <laughs> I did. This needs to be, it needs to be reinforced. And this needs reinforcing. Okay. All right. Well, we still got some work to do on this little baby. So um, until the next time, uh, may everybody have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me today. And um, yeah, lots of laughs here. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.